selfish. You only think about yourself. But you know it's not true. It's not true. I care for both of you. Everything I do is for us. That's a big lie. You lied there. You lied. If you care about us, as he said, you would have kept the promise. I didn't do it for the fun of it. There were millionaires at the snooker table and they made a huge bet. I was only hoping I could come back with something so as to pay off the bills and have something for us, you, me, and my daughter. If you had been paying part payments like you made me believe you were doing, you wouldn't have needed to gamble to raise their money, Charlie. Now listen, Abba. I made some payment initially. But I stopped when the investment stopped yielding. I stopped. You know what, Charlie? You better come up with a good plan. Because my daughter and I will never be homeless. And going back to Ghana is out of the picture. Do you get that? I can never be made a laughing stock in this life. Never! I am not you and I can never be you. Choice, then in that case, I'll have to drop you off before I'll be written down in her black notes because I don't want to get there at all. Uh, okay, I've heard you, but the food smells real great. Put away this house. What? Our house? Mom, are you sure about this? I mean, who gambles with their houses? Selfish men like your father. Wait, wait. Are you trying to see? Dad used our house as a gambling bet? No. He borrowed 15 million naira from a company using this house as collateral. Okay, so how did gambling come into this? <laughs> Bianca, my dear. As he said, the money from the failed investment was gambled away. His reason being that he wants to raise enough money to pay the company back. Have you heard a more stupid reason for somebody to be gambling? Ah, God. Where do we go from here? Where? Just tell me. We are just done for two. My dear, I'm truly sorry. I didn't mean to fail both of you. Dad, why are 
Why did you break the promise you made to us? It seems the only way out. I made only five million naira from the investment. And you gambled it away just like that? You see, that five million naira would have yielded more than 30 million naira if it had clicked. Well, it didn't click. None of your gambling has ever clicked, yet you keep playing it. Now you've gambled away the only property you have remaining. What do we do when the company comes to take this house away? What? Which company? Starlight Company. What? Dad! Do you know I am preparing for a test to gain employment in this same company? Tomorrow morning, Dad, yes. Oh my God. Dad, why do you keep doing everything to ruin my life? to see you like this. I mean, whatever this is, it's gonna be all right. Would you mind talking to me? Or better still, you tell me how did your interview go? Hmm. Well, I wrote well. But I'm not happy. I mean, but it's not that bad. What could be worse than losing your home? I mean, growing up in your own father's house and all of a sudden you turn out to become a tenant in another man's house all because your father gambled away your home so in that case do you mind moving in with me please what about my parents they can get an affordable accommodation somewhere with which money? You know I don't have a job yet. Or do you want to sort that out? Um, I, 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 I yes, I, I, I would have loved to help, but, babe, you, you know how much it cost me to get this new place and to furnish it. And come to think of that, our wedding will shift because of financial reasons. Please do not get me wrong, baby. I know. I understand. It's just that it breaks my heart that in less than two weeks, we'll be homeless. The house holds a lot of childhood memories. Stop beating your wife and you're chasing me out without a drink. We are done. We are done with this discussion, okay? Why is it Stop beating your wife. Stop beating your wife. I'm a mad before a It could begin. Sometimes I feel that your father is cursed. Or is it me? None of you are. Dad just can't get over a bad habit. Seven days. Bianca, in seven days this house will be gone. A house that is worth over 60 million naira will be gone because of 50 million naira loan. Okay. 
together. Remember your blood pressure. How can I go back to Ghana empty handed? After spending over 25 years in Nigeria, I will go back to Ghana, a pauper? Nothing of such will happen. Something must come up here. Ah, it's okay. Stop crying. Stop. When is your interview tomorrow? 9 a.m. Same company. I just. I just pray they don't connect you with your father. <sighs> I pray so much. I do. <laughs> just. So what's my schedule for the day? Sir, the applicants are here, but the management considers one of them. And who is that? My name is Bianca Manu. Okay, send her in. Hello, Dad. Okay, I'll see you by the weekend. So what are you doing in Nigeria? I was born here. I've lived here all my life. Oh, I see. That's nice. Um, I can see you made a first class in business administration. Yes, sir. I was very serious in my studies. Quite impressive. Quite impressive. And your grades and experience, uh, well, good. Good. I think you have what we want and I, excuse me sorry I might be wrong but correct me if I am your surname sounds exactly like that of the man I went through his file last night over loan default case are you in any way related to Mr. Kofi man from Accra I just asked you a question young lady yes sir he's my father is this a joke or something? You came here to look for work when your father is owing us 15 million naira? No, sir. I didn't know about it. I already applied for the job before I found out. And you still came? How are you intending to pay back? Probably from the salary we pay you here, isn't it? And how long do you think you would work to earn that kind of money? Sir, if you will permit me, I will gladly do that. I'm sorry I will not permit you. I would only ask you to kindly and please leave my office now. Okay, even if you don't want to give me the job, please give us some time. If you throw us out, we'll be homeless. Please, please leave my office. You can go back to Ghana. Ben! 
Take this girl. Madam, please, let me show you to the door. Can, can you leave this office, please? Ben, will you take this girl out of here? Get out of my office, please! Next person, please. Cool begin so unexpectedly. Sometimes unpleasantly in this journey of life. Oh God! Oh, this journey of life, yeah. and you have no idea. Hi, baby. Ah. Oh. I'm sorry for keeping you waiting. I had too many things to do at the theatre. So tell me, how did it go? You're crying. You could fight it and resist it. They found out. Even though it's causing Oh my goodness. I really wish this did happen. Just look at how my father's callousness is destroying my life. Listen. Your father's callousness is not destroying your life. I mean, there are too many big companies out there. Just cheer up, I mean. Look, you keep going for the test and believe you me that someday you will excel. You don't understand. This is a company that I have dreamt so much of working with. They pay so well, you know it. Honey, I understand. Look, first of all, I need you to stop crying, okay? To stop this, please. Listen, I understand this, but I want you to look at it from the angle where it could be a blessing in disguise. And I also heard the guy handling that company is some kind of nasty person. That's an understatement. The guy is a beast. Wait, hold on. So you've heard too? I met him today. How come? Um, it happened to be that he was the one that conducted the interview. That was how he found out that my son's name and address was the same with my dad's. That was too smart of him. Shit! That means the tablet was right. I heard the guy is some kind of guru and that's why he's been able to manage his father's empire so well. You mean the guy is a snob? Can you please take it easy on yourself, please? Hmm? Bubu. Puchu puchu. Baby. Come on. Oh, it's alright, darling. Oh, I know you're very hungry and I think I need to order something for you. Oh, where is this guy? You need to eat something, darling. Mm, no worry. No, you don't want anything? Okay. Are you sure about this? I just want to go home. That's all I want now. I know you missed me just like you miss your frequent duties. <laughs> wow. I think it's time to start considering that I'm not seriously. Becky, that's no advice. That's a trick. You don't hinge a man's inheritance on marriage. Where have you heard that done before? 
If you had done the right thing, Dad wouldn't have had the grounds to do so. You amaze me, Becky. You think that is right in what he did? Thanks for taking sides with me. It's not about taking sides, darling. Listen, I don't need Dad to tell me before I start thinking of what is good for you. I know what is good for you. How will marriage do me any good? What's the big deal? Why should that qualify me from getting my inheritance? You are no longer a kid. I came out a year and some months before you did. And as you can see, I'm truly childbearing. The fact that we are almost age mates does not mean our lives will go the same way. I'm doing good at handling and managing that empire. Why doesn't it leave it at that? It's time you forget Victoria's death. No, no, no. Leave her out of this, please. Let someone help you here. I said leave her out of this. It's okay. It's okay. I care so much about you. The papers for me and my family to relocate. It will soon be ours. And I don't want you lonely when I'm gone. When I find a woman that's worth it, I'll do it. Oh, you did it a thousand times, but you never wanted any of them. Whatever. What do they have here, sorry? Oh, I never knew you were hungry. If I don't get something to chew and drink now, I'll cut off your head. Oh, excuse me, please don't cut off my head. Waiter! Waiter! Hey, bro. What are you doing in my house, Maxwell? Hmm. Anyways, I was just around the neighborhood. I decided to come and find out how your wife um, searching is going. Maxwell, if you stayed out of my business, you might live a little longer. Come on, man, don't be too uptight. I said I was just around to remind you that you must get married. And not only that, to add a deadline to it. How do you mean? A financial expert like you should know what deadline means. Why would you give me a deadline to get married? Who does that? Dad, why are you taking this out of context? Why are you pushing this this far? Dad, you really have to take this easy because you're beginning to push it too far. Okay? I don't need any more pressures. I have a lot, a lot of that on me already from the office. And yourself, you know your health is not getting any better. You need to calm down. In fact, I suggest you go abroad so you take proper care of yourself. And not all this unnecessary bickering and getting worked up over nothing. Well, I already know that. And I'm taking precautionary measures. I don't even need to go abroad for treatment. We have hospitals here that can take care of my case. Oh, yes. And listen, my own is that you must get married. And let me let you know this. The doctor has already given me a deadline. He says I have only six months to leave. What are, what are you talking about? You heard me. That, that? Six months? Hi. How? What? Why? Oh my God. Bianca, you would do no such thing. I mean, how could Jerry even suggest that? What will my fellow Christian women say if they hear you moved into a man's house before wedding? It's okay, Mom. I didn't accept. So why bother telling me? Nothing. I just felt like telling you. Abba, I would like to know you. Really? Yeah. Have you gotten the company's money? Abba, please don't start. Not now, please. Mom. Well, <clears throat> my brother says we can move over to his uh, boy's quarter. 
The boys got off his five bedroom duplex. Excuse me? So, we are meant to jump up and clap for you for saving the day. From a mansion to a boy squatter. Ah! Mahano! In all honesty, you are the biggest mistake. You are the biggest disappointment of my life. Now you listen. You better come up with a good plan for us to stay in this house. Boy Scotter man. So dad, what happens to our property? Some of them will be parked at the garage. Why I move the remaining ones to another of my friend's garage? Are you trying to say there's no hope of salvaging this situation? My dear, there's no hope for now. I'm so sorry. Truly sorry, my dear. I hope you don't hate me for this. I'll be in my room, Dad. Begin so unexpectedly. Sometimes, Dad, calm down. What happened to him? Calm down, that is fine. Just like he's giving me six months to get married. <laughs> you don't see, that's how long he's got to live. Good morning, madam. I'd appreciate if you go straight to the point with whatever you have come here to say. I do not really entertain people I haven't given appointments. <clears throat> thank you, sir. I thank you, sir, for your time. I really do appreciate how busy you are and uh... Can you go straight to the point, please? Okay, sorry about that. I came because of my husband's loan. What about it? Please, Mr. Eze, can you give us more time? What more time are you talking about? How much more time do you think you need to pay off 15 million naira? Look, woman, I am aware that that house is the only property he hasn't gambled away. As it's known by everybody. So if you think you can come here and whip up sentiments, then you're in the wrong place. If that's the reason you're here, kindly get up and leave my office. Okay. One more last thing. Now. What? Please. Employ my daughter, Mr. Eze, please. I'm sure you can do that for us at least. I knew that's the singular reason you are here. No. Your daughter thinks she's smart, right? She calls you to come here and whip up sympathy and have me employ her. Now you go tell her I said no. Capital, no. I'm sorry to tell you this. She doesn't know I came to see Madam, you. Madam, if you do not mind, leave my office. Please, Mr. Eze. We will be homeless. I don't I'm... care! Ben, take this man out of my office! Please. Madam, please, you may have to leave now. We'll be homeless and... I don't care. What's that? What's this, madam? 
Hey, what? what? Sir. No, no, not Sir. here. What is it? You're not going to get my office. Hello, madam. Hello, madam. with your gambling habits. Let go of me! Fool! Me! Mr. Baron, don't you ever insult my father again. I will insult your whole generation and nothing will happen. Ah! Don't try it again. Twat. Oh, please, 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 calm down. You push hold it. Where's my mom? Oh, well, at uh, the moment her blood pressure is outrageously so high. And I think she has to be placed under bed rest for some days. Please, um, but I assure you one thing, that she'll be fine. Um, I need to get back to the ward to fix other things. Excuse me. This man is a killer! Your, Your mom fainted in his office. What kind of evil are you? You are evil! You are evil! You are what kind of devil are you? What kind of devil are you? Could begin so unexpectedly. Sometimes I'm he shouldn't have gone to his office. Now he has provoked you to this level, and your blood pressure has gone up, Mom. It's not him. It's your father. Mm -hmm. I know that man. He can be very hostile. It's expected. But at least he brought me to the hospital. Hello, everyone. Uh, hi, ma. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. Um, at this point, I think you need to just relax yourself. You don't need to stress yourself at all. I'll be homeless soon. And you're telling me to rest. How can I do that? You know it's not possible. All in the world. Um, Mr. Ezra. Here, yeah, good evening, madam. Sorry, please, excuse me. Good Thank you. Evening. Thank you for bringing me to the hospital. Yeah, I had to do what I needed to do to make sure you're okay. You've done more than enough. I have settled your bills. Mm, thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I just came to check up on you. Now that I can see you in a stable condition, I have to rush back to work. All right. I... Sorry, one more thing, please. I beg you in God's name, do not ever come to my office to put up this kind of display next time. I might not be this nice. Have a nice day. Can you stop? Consider your health. I really felt some miracle would have happened by now. That was why I went to Mr. Ezra's office. 
I am glad you can now say that such a movement is a very big mistake. Your stupidness that got us into this mess is a big mistake. Yeah, please. Please. How can he say that my attempt to plead with Mr. Eze is a mistake? Eh? Right, if he had granted my request, would he call it a mistake? It's okay. It's okay. Dad, please stop provoking mom. How am I provoking her? She went there without my knowledge. It should have been both of us on the same mission. Really? Yeah. When you are drowning yourself in alcohol, eh? How could you have coordinated any meaningful speech before Mr. Eze? Gambler. Meaning, is he God? You ought to be ashamed of yourself for asking that question. I wonder what made me marry you. Eh? A man that has the power to render you homeless is already playing God in your life. Mom. Dad, can both of you stop already? You're driving me insane! Uh, good day, Mr. and Mrs. Kofi. Good morning, Mr. Hesley. Thank you for being my parents. Oh, no, it's nothing. You collapsed in my office and people were beginning to make insinuations that I caused it. So I had to do what I had to do. It's not your fault. Hmm? I have the condition for a while. Oh, really? Yes. Well, please, I have to go now. I want to go and move some of our things to Uncle's house. All right. I'm not so fast. Eh? Are you also going to take my furniture and other belongings in the house, Mr. Comping Owner? Well, Mr. Kofi, I have a proposition to make to your family. Which is? I'll pay your debts. But that's attached to a condition. Just one tiny little condition. Which is? Bianca marries me. I can't marry you. I have someone else to marry. Really? So why didn't you upset your dad's death? He's just a medical doctor. Oh, I see. Cool. Okay then. Well, I thought you were going to be smart enough to grab this opportunity. The truth is, I don't need you to secure my inheritance. But you need me to remedy this situation. You have made your choice. Do quick to get your things packed. My boys will be there tomorrow morning. Dad, mom. He said he wants me to marry him on contract basis to, to enable him to secure his inheritance from his dad. It's okay. Mom. Yes? You heard him say it's contract. Probably it won't last long and we'll get our house back. So this rumor that he always fails out with his father due to marriage is true? Manu, snap out of it. There's no time for rumors. All I'm saying is that Bianca should accept the offer and save the situation on ground. Please. I think I'm of the same opinion. I can't believe this. I can't believe you two are trying to sell me off to a total stranger. Just because of a selfish desire. My daughter, don't call it selfish desire. It's about family purity. Bianca, please. It's obvious Jerry can't afford to pay the loan. If Jerry were in your shoes, Believe me, you accept this. Men are selfish. Please. We need the house. Remember, we are your only parents. But he's not the only man. Yeah. 
Jerry is not the only man. If he loves you, he will wait for you. Yes, my daughter. Most men are selfish. But not all men. Maxwell, I sent for you because of the incessant reports of you assaulting your wife ever since you got married. This is not good. That is not how to treat a woman. It's not in the blood. It's not in the family. I don't know where you got this from. But Dad, Maxwell, you must treat your woman properly. Honestly, you must stop beating your wife. There are other ways to solve the problem. I will not talk to you about this again. You will not like what will come out of it. I'll see you over the weekend. Dad. It could begin so unexpectedly, sometimes unpleasantly, in this journey of life. Oh. What's up, man? You sounded worried of him. Oh, boy. Everything seems to be going wrong. Tell me. I need to manipulate some accounts. You know I've been taking some money from there. Why do you need to do that? You're still in charge of that company. My old man suddenly developed interests in the account. And he needs a statement this weekend. Do you think he suspects something is fishy? Probably. And the worst part is that he, he also noticed that I still beat Miriam. But I have warned you to stop beating your wife. Why do you still beat your wife? TJ, please, don't blame me. You're not here to blame me. So, how did he know? Did she report him? He dares not. Well, he invited us over for dinner the other day. That was how he found out. But how could you still take your wife to your father after punching her? TJ, at times, say, they ask questions like a dumb person. I tell you. See. Seeing me with my pregnant wife endears me more to him. And it gives me an edge over Baron. Honey, Honey I'm back. Welcome. You are here. Welcome. She's pregnant. Yes. And she's coming from Atlanta. Yes. Wow. Congratulations, my man. Man, you're winning. You're winning. You're, 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 you're winning, man. Congrats. Thank you. Congrats. And who the hell does he think he is? So because he's sitting on some kind of empire that gives him the nerve to have any kind of woman he wants, and to think your parents are condescending into what he said drives me crazy. Honey, calm down. My parents are only in desperate situation, that's all. That's not true. I mean, that goes a long way to show me how much they like me. And I'm sorry to say this, I am totally disappointed in the choice they are making. Oh, Bianca, listen up. You are not doing this. And that is fine now. Don't tell me you are considering doing this. Not really. But I was thinking, since it's just on contract basis... Oh, please, please, just, just forget it. Okay? Forget it. Look, you are not doing it. 
Then for Christ's sake, how do you think I feel here you talking about this? Jerry, for once, can you stop thinking about yourself and consider my aged parents? My parents will be homeless! Oh, please. To be very honest with you, your father deserves to be homeless. Because he messed up big time. How dare you? How dare you talk about my father like that? Yes, he has made some mistakes in the past, but he still remains my father. I should be accorded some respect in my presence. Respect my foot. Okay. So, will you offset the bills for them? Why don't you think of a better way to insult me, Bianca? Same here. I don't like what is happening right now, please. I don't like it. Okay, fine. Think about this. Um, why not your father swallow his pride and go and live with his brother? I mean, after our wedding, we could think of a better way to help them out. Jay, I want to ask you something. And I want you to be very honest with me. If you happen to find yourself in my shoes right now. Okay. And some girl offers you a contract marriage to save your parents from their mess. What will you do? Hi, bro. What's up, baby? Why haven't you been picking my calls? Sorry, bro. I was driving. I was on my phone. Sir. Have you found a wife? Yes. Really? So fast? Hmm. Anyone I know? No. I only just met her myself. Baron, I don't think it's right to marry a stranger. I think one of your old friends should be safer. At least someone that will understand you. Well, um, this is just contract marriage. What? Contracts? Oh, Baron. Ah, that's more dangerous. She might turn around against you all. She might refuse to go when the time comes. Nah, that's not likely. She's engaged to someone else already. She doesn't even want to do this. Huh. And you're sounding as if she has agreed already. <laughs> well, I'm hoping that she'll agree before 12 noon tomorrow. Baron, you always feel the word must be at your beck and call. Later. Let me call you when I get home. Okay then. My regards to Richard and Kennedy. Alright then. Bye. Take care of you. Bye. You may sit. It could begin so unexpectedly. I believe your coming here means you have accepted to do it. Not yet. I need to clear some things with you about the contract. By that I presume you mean the terms. Okay, this is it. You and I will be married only on papers. There will be no sex, no fondness of any kind, no emotions, except in public. My father and the public must believe this is real. You're free to do with your life whatever you please. Your social life is yours for the taking. But do not do anything negative. I hate scandals. You owe me no domestic responsibilities or chores. Have I cleared your confusion? No. What else? Why me? You could get as many girls as you want for free. Why me? Your mother is a very wise woman. Your father owes me and you're in love with another man. So she knows there wouldn't be any emotional toss-up. Are you in or not? I may be losing the woman I love over this. Who cares what you lose over what? Don't care. Don't give a hoot. I don't give a flying fuck about whatever you lose. If you have accepted to do this, then whatever comes out of it, do not blame anybody because I'm not forcing you. 
Yes or no? It could begin so unexpectedly, sometimes unpleasantly. In this journey of life, oh, this journey of life. Yeah. Oh. Um, good afternoon, Mr. and Mrs. Kofi. Good afternoon, Mr. Ezra. Dad. Mom. I've made up my mind to marry Baron. Come. And what if she's just trying to punish you for taking the hat in the first place? Or maybe she's... She will try to get that to know that this has all been an arranged marriage. <laughs> Sis, she wouldn't dare. You know why? Why? Because the contract states that for settling her father's debt, I get to run that house for the next five years, so it's not theirs yet. Bro, mm -hmm. you're just a shrewd businessman. I know, I know. Just business security. <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> So when do I get to meet her? Um, by weekend. We'll see her. Hmm? My brother, businessman. <laughs> I have to. All right. Let me take you to where we're going together. Beautiful. Ring. Okay, good. You say you know exactly where the uh, diamond is. Don't you trust your sister? I trust. You. We're going to get a very beautiful. I ring. trust you. <laughs> begin so unexpectedly sometimes unpleasantly in this journey of life okay um have this envelope in it contains our daily itinerary from now till the next one month when we're getting married so soon yeah my father wants to see us get married before he passes on Sorry about your father's ill health. What's wrong with him? Ah, don't, don't, don't bother about that. It's no worries. Anyways, I'm used to getting reminded of what I need to do every day all my life, and um, I hope that you'll keep up with this and remind me of everything we need to do every day as regards this. The whole idea is to convince my father what we're doing is real. There's a check in here. Yeah, that's true. That's for your dentist appointment and any other thing you might need to put in place. Dentist? Mm -hmm. I have a tooth problem. I'll be kissing you in public and I need to know the state of your oral health. And what makes you think I have a poor oral hygiene? <laughs> if you didn't, you wouldn't be getting all worked up. We'll also be having a HIV screen. What for? You and I won't be sleeping together anyway. If you're positive, I won't be kissing you deeply. Why all this after signing the contract? The contract says that if either of us at any point realizes the other person has a viral deadly disease, the person is free to back off. You're still a virgin, so I'm not scared of any sexually transmitted disease. Sorry? Uh, how do you, who told you about that? <laughs> well, that was meant to be a joke, but you just confirmed it. I'll be waiting for you. <laughs> you can fight it all you want. You can resist it all you want. At the end of the day, time always tells. Oh, but what you have at the end of the day may be to your advantage. You go find a love. Love could find you. Oh, oh, that is life. The I love that young man. Mommy scared me. Have you been listening? Of course. I have a very good feeling about all this. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. So, tell me, how much did he sign for you in that check? 200,000 naira. Just for today? No. I think it's for me to use and get some stuff before the wedding. Bianca, that's not how I understood his statement. He wants me to go see a dentist to ascertain the state of my hygiene. Mom, can you imagine? Because he simply wants to be kissing me in public. So? <laughs> What's wrong with that? At least that shows that he already has a good oral hygiene. Mom, it's pointless arguing with you. I need to get going. Have fun and um, try to relax me with him. No one can be relaxed with the dynamite. She has an excellent oral hygiene, Mr. AZ, and we still did the normal washing and polishing, so she's good to go. You sure? Yeah, very sure, very sure. Alright, thank you, Doctor. Yeah, you're welcome, Mr. Daisy. We have to take our leave now. Wow, no problem. Goodbye, Miss Kofi. Thank you. Miss Kofi? Ah, uh -uh. what's your problem? You are my problem. How dare you humiliate me like that? Discussing me as if I was not there. Like I'm some laboratory animal for experiments or what? Can pull these stupid stunts without a kiss or whatever. No, 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 no. We cannot pull the stunt without a kiss. We have to make. As a matter of fact, we have to start now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah. Who do we have here? DJ! Strongest baron in town. What's up, bro? I'm good. Um, sorry. DJ, be my girlfriend, Bianca. Bianca TJ, my friend. Bianca, you are very beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> I hope you'll be inviting us soon enough. Yes, in the nearest future. Oh. So what brings you here? I came to see my doctor friend. Okay, you two have issues with you. Nah, nah, nah. Friend. Alright, bro. We'll see you some other time. Baron, the baron. <laughs> Maxwell would have been reading your business. Easy, man. Hey, go. Hey, Jack. What's that for? You almost blew things up back there. Don't you know TJ is Maxwell's friend? What if he had observed what we were doing? I just don't like you kissing me like that. As if you want to squash me. The least you could do is kiss me back. It wouldn't hurt. Move this car. Begin so unexpectedly, sometimes unpleasantly in this journey of life. Oh, this journey of life. Hey, 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 come, 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 come. Why are you the haste? Why are you in a hurry to go in? I have a headache. My kiss gave you a headache. Not just your kiss. Everything about you gives me a headache. <laughs> Anyways, you should develop immunity against me. Because you will need it. 
very, very much. Hmm? All right, I'll see you at 7 p.m. For what? Like you've not gone through the envelope I gave you yesterday. You were busy whining about you visiting the dentist and all of that. Well, well, we're having dinner at Eco Hotels tonight and I am proposing to you there in full glare of everyone. Is all this necessary? Very necessary. And you better act all emotional because the press will be there as well. What? I'm not good at repeating myself, Bianca. Use the money I gave you to buy yourself some good clothes, make your hair look presentable and look like a woman I could go for. Really? And what kind of woman do you go for? A woman with class, poise, intelligence, and beauty. Katya. Sometimes life takes you on a journey. Where it's taking you, you don't know. When you get there, what you find. Hello, TJ. Boy, I do. You can't believe what my old man just told me right now. Baron just informed him that he has found a wife. I know what that means. TJ, I am finished. Finished. By nine, nine is okay. Okay, talk to you then. Are you okay? And what difference does it make if I'm not? Should I get your food? My friend, get out, I'm not hungry. Hi, Jay, he's here. Mom, are you sure about this? My dear, we all need already. Just trust me on this, please. Mom, you know I'm doing this for you and Dad. You'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Come on. Thank you. It could begin so unexpectedly, sometimes unpleasantly, in this journey of life. Oh, this journey of life, yeah. and you have no idea where it's gonna, where it's gonna take you. This journey of life, oh, oh, oh. this journey of life, oh, you could fight it. And resist it, but all to no avail. Wow. 
Even though it's causing you I must say you look good tonight. You don't wear a long face when you're going for your engagement. You should know that. Put a smile on that face because the press is already seated there. Open the car for her. Get into the car. Let's go. You don't know when you get there what you find could be a surprise. A surprise. This journey could change your story. Hello, Baron. Yes. What game do you think you're playing this time around? I don't understand that. Of course you do. What is this I'm reading in the papers? You and some lady. What's going on? Dad, you know the press will always link me with one lady or the other just to sell the papers. You know that already. Oh, don't give me that. You definitely kill me. If not, you're not going to be kissing her and caressing her in public. And they propose it to her. When you told me you found a lady you wanted to marry, I thought you would take your time to at least study her. Not this. Wow, they, they got that too. Oh, now, just pretend to me that you don't know anything about this publicity spot. I don't. It's just a private dinner. That's why we went to that restaurant, Dad. Let's press guys or something else. Really? Try and convince me. I don't even believe that any Nigerian journalist will take his camera at that time of the night and go out and be smart enough to capture this kind of moment. Oh, come on, bro. You're not half as shocked as I am, Dad. Well, just bring her to me this weekend, or even earlier. Okay, I will. Have a nice day, Dad. Uh, uh, hello, son? Dad? Oh, come on, bro. This time around, let it just be real. Don't even try to fool me because you can't. It's real. Wait it's real. Bye. Goodbye, Dad. When you get there, what you find could be a surprise. 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 Are you okay? Jerry broke up with me. He saw the paper. Yes, he did. Half the whole world have seen the papers. I'm being blasted on them. <laughs> did you explain to him? He wouldn't listen. Hmm. That's selfish and childish of him. He would do exactly the same, even worse, if he were in your shoes. Oh, Mom, I still love him. Come on. You'll get over him. Hmm? Don't have to worry. See, I have the meaning to tell you. Why don't you use this opportunity, I mean, this situation to... You know what I how, mean? How? How, Mom? Turn the contract into real marriage. Mom? How can you say such a thing? Is it not the wisest thing to do now that you've parted ways with Jerry? Sounds like you've been praying for this, Mom. Mm. <laughs> I love him. All I'm thinking of right now is how to make him understand and see reasons with me so he can wait for me. You will do no such thing. You are Baron's fiance. Mom, this is all a facade. And you, Jerry, can blow it, my dear. Think! Bianca! You don't walk out on me. 
Mom, please, I have a headache. I need to think on how to make my relationship with Jerry come back, please. Full begin, so unexpectedly, sometimes unpleasantly, in this journey of life, oh, this journey of life, yeah. and you have no idea. Where it's gonna, where it's gonna take you This journey of life oh, oh, oh. This journey of life oh, You could fight it And resist it But all to no avail Franca Franca The gardener didn't come to work? No, sir. I've not seen him today. All right. Get me one of the dailies. Okay, sir. When you get there, what you find could be a surprise. A surprise. This journey could change your story. Any other things? No. Go do what you're doing. Good afternoon, Baron. How are you? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Dad, meet Bianca. Bianca, my dad. Ah, it's my pleasure. Well, uh, get yourself some seats. Okay, let me get you a seat. I'm coming. So, Bianca, where did you meet my son? Forgotten, have you? No, sir. I, I am. Um, I met him when I went for an interview at the company. So he offered you marriage instead of a job, <laughs> Dad. I simply discovered she has a great personality. That must have been quite an interview. It was that indeed. I was stunned. In fact, I was captured by her heart that very moment. And you, Bianca? Were you also stunned by my son's heart? No, yes, sir. But not his heart. Tell me more. It was his determination for excellence. His strength and aura pulled me to him. His heart, I will get to know over time. I see. Okay. Once again, you're welcome to my home. Thank you, sir. We should have lunch. Yes, Dad, we should. Franca would have made something. Okay, then. Let's go inside. It could begin so unexpectedly Sometimes unpleasantly In this journey of life Oh this journey of life yeah. and you have no idea where it's gonna where it's gonna take you this journey of life oh, oh, oh. welcome madam thank you thank you um this is mamojo my housekeeper mamojo bianca my new wife Welcome, ma. I'm at your service anytime, ma. Thank you. I have um, some luggage in the boot. Uh, I will get it, madam. Don't worry. Okay, then. Mamojo will help you settle in. I have to rush back to work now. I'm sorry. Where will I be sleeping? 
Well, in one of the visitors' rooms, obviously. Probably the one opposite mine. I do not have space for two in mine. Uh, sir, can I have the key to your room? What for? So that I take Madame Fens inside. Were you deaf when I said a while ago that she was going to stay in the visitor's room opposite mine? But my room didn't have space for two. Sorry, sir. All right, I'm off to work. See you later. You are still awake? Yes, I am. Please stay out so late. His phone is switched off. He does come back late sometimes. But I'm a bit worried. Because this is wedding night. Sorry to say that, madam. I, I shouldn't have. Sorry. Madam, I, I think you should go to bed. You're back. Welcome, sir. What's going on here? Why are you both still up at this time? I was worried about you. You stayed out so late. Are you now my watchdog? Good night, sir. Good night, madam. Excuse me. You see what you almost cost? Now, don't you ever do this. What have I done wrong? Staying up late to wait for me when you know you're not my real wife. I'm sorry about that. You didn't tell me we stayed out so late. I owe you no explanation. I could stay out for eternity for all I care. Now you listen to me. This is business. Strictly business. Fine, I know it's business. And I'm not trying to turn into anything else. I was just being worried about you. You have no reason to. Get that into your thick skull.
Good morning, madam. Good morning. I hope you slept well on your first night in your home. I slept as for well. Mm. I don't know. I couldn't sleep till 4 a.m. Is it gone? Yes, madam. Your breakfast will soon be ready. Okay. Mm. And as for this whole madam title, please, can you drop it? Call me Bianca. You're old enough to be my other sister, you know. I don't think Hoga will like that. Uh, trust me, that is the least of the things Hoga will bother about. If you insist. Yes, I insist. Mm -hmm. So back to breakfast, what do we have? Mm. I will get omelette for you. Hope you like that. Okay. <laughs> so, excuse me. Right. Oh, oh, there, give me this. Good morning, Bianca. This is a list of your itinerary for the day. By 1.15 p.m., you are to bring me lunch in the office, not a minute early or late. And be reminded you should act like a new bride. Then at night by 8 p.m., we'll be at a friend's engagement party. Wear something sexy, but decent and not suggestive. Call me if you're confused. Baron. Um, what does he like for lunch? He never does lunch. Just coffee in the morning and the dinner. Did he ask for lunch? Mm, in that case, we get him a good food. Mm. Babe, take him easy. Eh? Easy now. Baron is a mean son of a bitch. I've been on his back and call for two years. I traveled for just two months. Two months. He rushes off to marry a strange girl. <sighs> Waiting the pin me pass, we say. That girl no even follow for Ailey's babes for this town. She no follow now. <sighs> you see, you see what they tell you since make you get the left for this guy. But you know, listen, you didn't listen. How am I supposed to get pregnant when he insists on using condoms? You should have pierced it now. Ah, when he buys them himself and wears them himself. Men are beast. I'm doomed. Babe, I'm doomed. How am I supposed to pay my rent? My rent will be due in two months. Too. But you still have other men that do take care of you. Other men? I don't want other men. I want Baron. Babes here, you won't understand. Baron is not only good in bed. Baron is kind. Baron is caring. Baron is generous to a fault. Babes, you understand. Married men are more generous. Especially our senators, our chairman. Name them. You know, they give without looking back. You see, now is your opportunity to milk him. I don't want to milk him. I don't want to make Baron. I want him back. I don't want those men. I want Baron. Hmm. You want Baron, fine. Now that he has not been picking your cause, and he has never returned your cause, what are you going to do? If Baron fails to call me this week, I will go and see him myself. Hmm. Good and fine. Hey, hey. Wait till he carry come back for me. Oh my God, I told you that I am worried on how to get money to pay my rent. And all you ask is what I got for you from Dubai, right? See me see local wahala. No, you go choose Leki. Leave Yenekbaja. 
Oh my God. But you know I can't stay in a place like this. I can't stay in any badja. Hmm. You cannot stay in a place like this. So we will don't stay. We they stay for here. We don't die finish. Eh? You, you go choose Lekki. You know get work. Oh. Very soon, breeze go blow. Go see for our nyash. See babes. Now I tell you. If I dress up like this, package myself, come outside. I go change my Instagram location. Nobody go know where they stay now. Oh my God. You know, I'm not caught out for all these fake lives. Yeah, they're fake. <laughs> See who they talk. See who they talk fake life. Not be they live fake life. You where they stay for licking. You no get job. Now you they call me fake life, Abby. Very soon now your rent will expire now. It's okay. It don't do. It never it do. It don't do. I beg. I'm very hungry. Eh? What do you cook? And ah, see, let me be very hungry. No worry. I get Gary. Ma go bring her out. Me will soak. Wait. Me. Say Gary. Waka. No. Me. Say Gary. Shege. <laughs> Considering the fact your dad had this transaction 30 years ago, when some laws on properties we are different from what we have today, simply means some terms don't apply. Son, any dad. problem? No, Dad. Why do you ask? Hmm, you keep glancing at your wristwatch as if you have another appointment somewhere. But if you don't mind, the barrister and I can reschedule. No, no, I'm fine. Let's continue. Barrister, please. So, I will advise your dad sells off and let the buyer face the stress that will come in the nearest future. So, what do you think, son? Well, um, the barrister knows best. Let's just uh, go with his flow. In that case, 
go on and sell. You bring the papers to me over the weekend okay. so I can sign it and return. Okay, sir. Okay? We are leaving already. Haven't we concluded? We have. So that you can have enough time to attend to that thing that made your eyes glue to the wristwatch. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Madam just arrived and she said it's urgent. Oh, my wife. Yes. Let her in. Okay, sir. Hey, on the pie. Mm. You look worried, darling. Is everything okay? Anyway, but I submit my lovely wife, Bianca. Vice Solomon. Good day, sir. Good day, sir. Wow. It's wonderful meeting the girl that has finally captured the heart of Nigeria's once recalcitrant bachelor. <laughs> you know, I feel like an achiever with that title. <laughs> um, I think we'll have to take our leave now. Okay. Yes. Um, <coughs> Let me give you a happy hand. Bianca, you really look harassed. One advice for you, next time, don't put yourself under the pressure to meet Baron's demands. Son. Dad. See you over the weekend. I'll see you today. Let's go. Be fine and be strong. Oh, yes. A simple assignment. And you blew it away. I would have been here on time, but... Save me your lousy explanations. If you had done things right, something you could have simply executed and it would make my father believe we were real. No, but you messed it up. A simple task of bringing food for your husband and pretending to show a little affection. You couldn't do it. I'm sorry, the, the traffic was too much. Now get out of my office. And go with your food. Could begin so unexpectedly. Sometimes I'm pleased in this journey of life. Oh, this journey of life. Yeah. And you have no idea where it's gonna, where it's gonna take you. This journey of life, oh, 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 this journey of life, oh, well, uh, Barrister, so what do you think about my son and his new wife? Oh, those two are very much in love with each other. Yeah, from my own observations, especially the girl, can't you see? She's trying not to offend him. My wife was once like that, you know. And my son? Your son. I think he loves her more. Yeah, he loves her more. He's only trying not to show it too much. But perhaps the girl might take him for granted. You know, men. Or do you have any doubt about the girl? Not her, but my son. It could begin so unexpectedly, sometimes unpleasantly, in this journey of life. Oh, this journey of life. Yeah. And you have. No idea where it's going. Hi, Dennis. I thought the tabloids. Janice. Janice, sit 
janitor. <laughs> wow. Dinner tonight. <laughs> Whoa! Ben! What are you saying? I mean, you had to make your choice and you chose him. How many times do you want me to explain to you that this thing is not real? So that's that is the reason why you made mockery of our love? Then secondly, you made our love so cheap! If you don't mind, I need to get back to the office, please. Jerry, please don't do this. I had no choice. My parents would have been homeless by now. Oh, that's a lie. Bianca? I said that's a lie. Your parents had too many folks out there that they would have been able to put up with till we were able to sort out the accommodation. But what did I get in return? You wanted to remain in the big mansion. Jerry. We can still work something out now. How do you mean? After he has had you? There won't be any sex. There won't be. Listen to me, Mrs. Eze. You can't eat your cake and have it. I have to get back to work. Excuse me. Oh, how are you? I'm fine, Abby. <laughs> uh, where is everybody? Oh, they should be somewhere all around the house. So what brings you? Uh, Dad, um, I'd like to see you, but in private. Really? Well, uh, but we're alone here. Uh, no, I prefer us to be in your room, sir. All right, let, let's go to the carport. Uh, come on. Okay. So what is it, Maxwell? It's about Baron's father-in-law. What about him? The man is owing the company 15 million naira. And he's a chronic gambler. But when the time came for him to pay back, he couldn't pay back, so the company took over his uh, property. Naturally, where you owe and you have a collateral, we take over. But do you know what happened eventually? Baron paid off the debt. Well, <laughs> the man is his father-in-law, so there's nothing bad in him doing that. He paid off before marrying her. Come on, Dad. You don't get it. This is so clear. He pays off the debt, and in exchange, she marries Baron. Just to fool you. It's hard to believe, but it is true. Hmm. Why would Baron pay off so much debt if he's not getting something in return? Let me ask you this. What if he did it because of the love he has for his wife? Okay. Okay. Yeah. This phone has a recording application. It can record for several hours. Just place it in their room and you will confirm what I have just told you. Mom. 
Honestly, I'm tired of this marriage. I can't make this work anymore. My dear, you have to. You need to do it. And you will. That's why I came. Turn this contract marriage into real. Mom, you know that's not possible. Your Jerry got married last week. It's a lie. See, I have the picture because my friend attended. The girl in question is her niece. So, you need to crack him. Get pregnant. Oh. How? How? You know, Baron does not love me. Say school. Tell me. Who would pay dearly for a contract marriage? Are you the only girl around? I'm a woman and I know things. When I see them, I can tell some things. Bianca, it will be foolish of you to leave Baron's house after this contract. Because no man would want you. He is too popular. So men will be scared to go for his ex-wife. You have money. Yes. But hard market. Mom. I don't know what to do. Give him an heir. Yes. No man would like to divorce you with that. Believe me. What do I do? Please tell me what to do. Come. Okay. What game are you up to this time? What do you mean? What do I mean? What's that show of love for? I'm just doing what you asked me to do. Convince you that it's real. Is that why you have to kiss me in that manner? No. Listen, I don't have any time for any dumb argument with you. Leave my room, I want to take my shower. Okay, but you fast. You made the great hours and get cold. Hey, what's this new madness of making with you? Don't you think you don't make your own suspicious? You don't have to make it. Just be in the kitchen with my mojo and have her do the meal. But if you go the kitchen, you do not have to go all the way to prove anything to him. Now get out. It could begin so unexpectedly, sometimes unpleasantly. In this journey of life, oh, this journey of life, yeah. and you have no idea where it's gonna, where it's gonna take you. This journey of life, oh, oh, oh. this journey of life. Oh, you could fight it and resist it, but all to no avail. Even though it's causing you pain, you gotta go along with the ride, gotta flow with the tide. Oh, sometimes life takes you on a journey. You scared me. I didn't hear you driving. How was your day? Ain't you supposed to have had your bath before I come back? So we don't have to struggle for space. I slept in your complaints. You always have an excuse. Call me when you're done. Bye! Figured out 
When you think you know the outcome at another day You could be shocked when you realize you were wrong all along You can fight it all you want Bianca! Bianca! Pasi mi lo que es. It's not what you think. You, you know, this whole marriage thing happened so soon. I had to explain things to him. And you had to do that by going to his house and the hospital? He wouldn't give me audios at work, so I had to go to his house. Can you imagine what that led to? Baron, what do you care? Maxwell sent me this picture now. And if this gets out, you know what it's going to do to our plans. Sorry. Sorry for yourself. Just clean this mess and make sure this doesn't happen again. That's all. Madam, I said, Lord, reach yourself. Should I give in? Should I get out? Don't know what to do. This thing that I feel is so strong. This feeling can't be wrong. Baron. Maxwell. Baron, what do I do? So, what was that show you pulled in, in, in the office? Why did you have my wife? Why have you been looking for me all this while? Get out! Why did you have my wife followed? <laughs> Your fake wife, you mean. Baron, you cannot fool everybody. Not even me, okay? Not even dad. Whatever you're planning with that girl of yours, I'll make sure it doesn't work out. You're the one who is fooling yourself. Trying to steal an inheritance that is not yours. <laughs> Still mine. You are an illegitimate son. Oh, really? But that still doesn't change the fact that Harold's blood flows in my veins. Now listen, let me tell you, Maxwell. Stay away from my wife and anything that concerns me. <laughs> stay away. I know about all your fraudulent transactions. If you think I do not know, I have the tabs on you. And I know about all the women you keep outside claiming to love your wife. One more blackmail from you and you're done for. Come back here! Come. I'm not going to take this shit from you again! But I don't know whatever you call yourself! Just... Okay. I know what to do. Dad, you see what I've been telling you? She's already having an affair. But, Maxwell, if you ask me, these two seem to be quarreling in all the pictures I have seen. Hmm, that's possible. How do you mean? Well, the young guy is your daughter-in-law's ex-boyfriend. Or perhaps, secret lover. She has visited him in his house, and in the hospital, as you can see. Well, um, the private detective I employed has been following her around ever since she said they got married. For that long? Oh, Maxwell, these pictures I'm seeing seem to have been taken in one day. What does it change? It doesn't change anything. This is strange. Very strange. New wife, still in contact with her ex lover. Current lover, you mean? So sorry I kept you waiting. I was doing something. 
You sound very urgent on the phone. Is everything all right? Everything is fine. Oh, okay. Um, Baron called me. Okay. And he said I should inform you that Dad will be coming to your house to spend some time with you people. And what that means is that Dad wants to come and monitor you people, both of you, to know if all this is true. So, so why? So please, just cooperate and then make sure that Dad doesn't find out anything as long as he, as he stays there. So, why did Baron ask you to tell me? Why didn't he talk to me directly? You know, my brother can be weird at times. Well, he thinks I can communicate with you better. And that's all. There's nothing behind it. Just stay cool and communicate and cooperate so that dad won't find out anything. You know, my dad, he can be inquisitive. No problem, I've heard you. I will try my best. I know you will. Thank you very much for your understanding. I really appreciate everything. It's okay. So, let me get back to what I was doing. Okay, darling. Okay, thank you. All right, do take care of yourself, okay? You too. All right. Bye. Bye. God's name are you still doing here? Time to go to bed. What's happening to me? I don't want to stand. I don't want to stand. This isn't how it's supposed to be. What's happening to me? I don't understand Oh, should I give in? Oh, should I get out? I don't know what to do Oh, should I, should I give in? Should I, should I get out? I don't know what to do I can't fight it anymore Can't fight it anymore. I can't fight it anymore. Fight it anymore. I can't fight it anymore. Oh. Should I give in? Strong. 
Bianca, how are you? Okay, please, where is mommy? Is everything okay? You don't look happy. Please, where is mommy? Well, she's inside. Those pictures have really spoiled my chances of winning you. That was silly of you going to see Jerry. Why would you do that? Mom, I hurt him. I owe him an explanation. Sweetheart, you don't owe him a thing. If he had loved you, he would have waited for you. Or don't you think so? You know, Mom, I keep wondering why he rushed into marriage so soon. Now you've started thinking smartly. Now let me let you you. Men always have plan B at the back of their heart. Better know that. My dear, you need to go back there. Continue from where you stopped. You must get pregnant at all costs. You see, Baron? He will crack. Believe me. You don't have to think about it much. Believe me. This thing that I feel is so strong. Who do we have here? Can't you greet your supposed brother-in-law? I don't owe you any greeting. Maxwell, I believe Baron has warned you to stay away from me. <laughs> Baron, your supposed husband. I believe you are so good in bed. That's why Baron picked you from the slum. Hey! Come on, don't you dare. Let go of me. Don't you ever try that again. You better watch your back. Because I'm watching you. No, no, not now. 
What is the problem? Nothing. I just had a stressful day at work today. Oh, is it at home? <laughs> so I'm right. No, you are wrong. <laughs> you know I'm actually being nice here. Excuse me? Yes. So how many girls could have taken you back after what you did? If I remember vividly, I never made any commitment to you. God. So it was just sex for you. And it was just the checks for you. Oh God. You are so despicable. I agree. Suit yourself. Please let me go drop you off. I'm not in the mood to argue. If you leave this place, I will never take you back. That's fine. <laughs> You're leaving. Why didn't you call me the minute it happened? I didn't think it was necessary. Kenneth intervened on time. But you asked him not to tell me, right? Both of you have enough heat already. I don't want to add more to it. Now you listen. Henceforth, you're going to move around with bodyguards. I don't trust Maxwell. He's savage. He's ruthless. Okay? You are my ticket to my inheritance. And getting rid of you will give him great joy. Did he hurt you? Okay. You sure? What? Yes? I'm sorry. I can't remember you. Have we met? No, we haven't. I traveled outside the country when you married my boyfriend. I beg your pardon? You heard me right, gold digger. Hey, look here, young lady. It's like you're high on drugs or something. You better leave here before I beat you up. The fact that he left you and married my daughter, it shows that you're a slut. Oh, I see. It's out of a murder. You, you slapped me? Oh, something your lousy mother refused to teach you a long time ago. And if you don't take time, I will do it again and again. You will pay for this. Excuse me? You will pay for this! I've been kind all this while to let Baron, your so-called husband, come back to you every night. From now on, he will never come back to you again. Look at this bamboo clap. It's not a threat. Hey, you! You don't do that to my oh, daughter. Please, oh, please. Why did your mom assault Janice? Oh, so you heard. 
Answer my question. Let this be the first and the last time you face your first happy. And let this be the last time you get an insult me, my mother, or anyone. I don't care if you see me. Why does it bother you who I have sex with? The reason I didn't use Janice or any of my close friends is because I do not want any emotional hassle. And who is experiencing it amongst the both of you? Hmm. From what I told you, who does it look like? You, of course. Me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he must be joking. Me fall for that girl. She's beautiful. I have been with so many beautiful women in my time. But none loves you like she does. I not need that. Baron, why don't you give this a chance and see if it will work? What do you have to lose? She's just not my type. Who is your type? All those ones that sees you as a dollar sign? They are safer. They don't get too close and they give me what I want. Oh, I see. So, Bianca has gotten so close. Hmm. What a... I'm just trying to be nice. She's nice. You love him, don't you? Well, um, I called you here to give you a sound advice. That is, if you take it. You, you mean? Exactly what you think I mean. I mean trying. I doubt if he will give in. He will. Trust me. You know you are a very hot number, my dear. Baron is not moved by looks. I'm very sure he has seen so many beautiful men in his life. Yeah, that's for sure. But a man knows when a woman loves him genuinely. And that is powerful, my dear. <laughs> is it... Is it that obvious that I love him? <laughs> yes, madam. It's very obvious. <laughs> um, I can't see any ring on that finger. Well, you and I know that I'm not married. Bianca, of course you are married to my brother. It could begin. So unexpectedly, sometimes unpleasantly, in this journey of life, oh, this journey of life. Well, it was wonderful spending time with you, Bianca. Thank you, sir. The pleasure is all mine. Well. I'm happy that what started as a deceit on my son's part finally became a conquest of his heart by you. Oh, come on. I know all that has been happening. 
Yes. My son accepted destiny in you without knowing it. I'm glad. <laughs> Come on. Wake up. This is a private conversation between us. Baron must never hear anything about it. Okay? So... Will you deny him his inheritance? Oh, that? Um, it's up to him. <sighs> My dear, just hang in there. Don't ever give up. He runs away whenever you break him. Don't worry. <laughs> well, um... I would want you to visit me sometime. As soon as Dr. Mary settles in, I invite both of you for lunch or dinner. Okay? All right, so just snap out of it. It's still a private conversation. <laughs> e Thank you. Happy birthday, Dad. Happy birthday, Dad. Happy birthday, Dad. Thank you. Happy birthday. Three happy chairs for Daddy. Hip, hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip, hip. Hooray! Let's go. Let's have a toast on Daddy's behalf. All right. Let's go. I can't wait. Woo! Yeah. It's yeah. a very happy day. Well, my wish is that I will see my children's children. And children's children's children. <laughs> children's children. Yeah. 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 Especially, yeah. especially yeah. from. Oh. 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 There we go. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, come on. If I finish PA, you might as well come. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> let's go, let's go there. No, 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 Come on, bro. Oh my God. Can I have some? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> oh my god! That is so That's That's my love. That's my love. Come on, you didn't feed me. Am I your song I'm your brother. I'm ready. Wow! <laughs> All for me? My brother is like that. This birdie was dope as fuck.
I don't understand this young man. Just the time we think that the whole thing has clicked, he ran off. Not to think that he left such a terrible letter for you after the whole thing. And you say he's been gone for two weeks. Away from house, yes. But has been going to the office for the past one week. Are you sure you didn't offend him? The only thing I did was let him make love to me that night. So, did he? Did he what? Come on, Bianca, you know what I mean. Mom, I think you should stop talking about that night. I should have allowed things to be the way they were before. My dear, you don't say such a thing. Your prayer should be that you end up being pregnant for him. Never! Never, Mom! Have you tried to go to the office and talk it over with him? I would do no such thing. I've had it with him. I would not allow him to humiliate me again. Never. <laughs> you know what I think? I think this man has started loving you and it scares him because that wasn't part of the plan. I don't care less. All I want now is just to be left alone. I'm tired. I am tired of this whole thing. The letter. Well, do I keep it? Thank you. You need to take it easy, then. It could begin so unexpectedly. Sometimes unpleasantly. In this journey of life, oh, this journey of life, yeah. and you have Oh, Jaka, you are here. What's the problem? You look worried. Has he returned home yet? Boy must be very stubborn. My dear, take it easy. Mr. Eze here has told me a lot that has been happening. You must be a brave woman to win the heart of a man like Baron. <sighs> Sir, please. Young woman, if it's about the inheritance, no. Only a deserving son will get it. Take it easy. Take it easy, okay? Just calm down. Everything will be okay. Okay? Just calm down. Please. It could calm be down. good it's okay. or it could be bad. Yeah, yeah. You could be caught up in it before you realize it. Oh, even when you think you've got it all figured out. When you think you will know the outcome by the end of the day Where are you coming from? 
I went to see my mom, then had dinner with your dad and Dr. Mary. So I slept over. So why did you sleep over? I didn't want to come back home to an empty house. My mojo is in this house. She's not my husband. Neither am I. Why are you complicating things? The terms of the contract are clear. Things seemed so to me the night you made love to me. I knew you were going to hold on to that. Now you listen to me, you and I know that was a mistake. The earlier we put that behind us, the better for both of us. I've done that already. So you have to. Lucky you. Some of us is not easy for the first man who made love to us, especially when he tells us he loves us while doing it. So, it's not easy. Better get over that. No! Do you want to kill my father? This water is too cold. My father cannot take this. You want to kill him? Please, go and get him. The water that is a bit warm. Okay? Please. Why is it that you can't get it? Um, what are you planning to do, Dr. Mary? How do you mean? Are you going to marry her? What do you think I should do? Oh, come on, Dad. Do you have to answer all my questions with questions? Well, I do so when I think you're not minding your own business. <laughs> uh, it's not a bad idea, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like her, actually. <laughs> well, so um, what is happening between Baron and Bianca? Sometimes you amaze me with your questions. Baron is your twin brother, so I should be asking you. But Dad, anyway, I'm not even interested. Baron is also your son. I'm not interested, so let that. So how is your husband? My husband is fine. <laughs> so how are things between you and Baron since they came back? Different. Different? Oh. Better, I guess. Far from that, he blames me for our lovemaking. And the worst of it all is that I've lost all strength to make this whole thing work. But that would be stupid of him. I saw the way he was looking at you that night. He wanted you with passion. <laughs> you guys cannot kill me. Walk on, bro. What's going on here? How? You know how? The laughter before I came in and then the sudden change of mood when I walked in here. What's wrong? <clears throat> well, um, I think you should ask her. She's your wife. Just on papers. Come on, bro. Come on, what? <sighs> Stop now. Stop what? Is there food in the house, please? Yes, of course. She'll get you food. Did you cook? Okay. Yes. We'll get you something to eat. Fast. We. Oui. <laughs> Should I give in? Should I get out? Don't know what to do. Sweetie, don't. I 
did him. I did. I'm so sorry. I can't take this pain anymore. I just want to go. No. Don't. Don't say that, please. If you leave, he will lose everything. I don't care. I don't care anymore. Oh, yes, you do. Because you love him. Excuse me. Let me go set the table. What's happening to me? I don't want to stand. I don't want to stand. This isn't how it's supposed to be. What's happening to me? I don't understand. Oh, should I give in? Oh, should I? Get out of it. Are you alright? My dad. What about him? He just went into coma. Oh no. told me that and I'm sorry I couldn't meet up with the invitation you sent over for dinner twice. I had a lot going on in my life at that time. From the result of the test, it seems your dad has not been taking his drugs. Why would he do like that? Your father is a very stubborn man. He even fooled me too. Anyway, all hope is not lost, but let not expect people to go there. So, are, you, are, you, are, you, are you saying my father will hardly regain consciousness? Never say never in medicine. I called his well and which one of his instructions. If this or death should occur. Why would he ask you to call his lawyer? He didn't explain. I'm very strange I will say. A few days after I arrived, your dad told me that the lawyer knows what to do if I should make the call. Why didn't you take him to a hospital? He wouldn't want hospital if it could be avoided. And in that case, it is possible to do so. I didn't expect this to happen now. I... Um, good evening, everybody. Good evening. Without wasting much of your time, I want to go straight to read your father's way, Chief Eze. As I informed you all earlier on, your father left specific instructions that his will be read a few days after his demise or coma, whichever one that comes first. Becky, you are first. Your father left his shipping line to you. His Long Island home in the U.S., three of his houses in London, 
and his undeveloped templos of land in Lekki, verse 2. Baron, your father specifically requested that I let you know he's aware of your arrangement with Bianca. He has, however, listed the following. His two estates in Port Harcourt. His oil palm plantation in the east. 50 million Naira cash. Half of his shares in the telecommunications sector. And his home on Osma Road, Ikoi. You, Mr. Baron Eze, will see to that. These listed properties are legally handed over to your half-brother, Mr. Maxwell Eze, here. What? What did you just say? Um, um, Barrister, please. Can you put us through here? Because we are confused. Yeah, I will. Only if Maxwell will let me. Maxwell. What? Please. You may continue. And you, Mr. Baron, every other thing your father owns is under your control. Maxwell's shares still comes under you, but he expects you do honorable thing as to give them to him. The list is endless. So no, no need to I it. knew it. I smell foul play here. So, Baron, you connive with this, this lawyer to change daddy's will. Maxwell, watch your mouth. I'll do that for you. Ah, oh, you think father didn't know? He knew about your plan with your wife. He couldn't have willed other things left. What do you mean? What? This won't work. I'm going to contest this will. It's not going to work. You won't do anything about it. You don't tell Dan how to share his property. Um, will you all calm down? Well, all you heard now is Mr. Ezek's will. And at this juncture, I beg to take my leave. Baron, this will not work. This will not work. You can't work. do anything about it. There is no point blabbing. Maxwell. You know you can't do anything about it. You can't do anything about it's it. It's okay, guys. It's okay. okay. Please calm down. tomorrow morning I have instructed Ben to transfer 15 million naira into your account what for 
for your troubles. Sparrow, is that all you feel for me? Actually meant to see that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So how is that doing? You can go and see for yourself. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's go see that. Okay. <laughs> After you. Alright. Just me. Bianca and I have some good news. We have decided to make it real just like you have always wanted. I love her. <laughs> yes, Dad, we're expecting a baby. I'm sorry for doing what I did. Baron left me with no option. When I noticed his pride would not allow him to declare his love for Bianca, I had to let him have his inheritance and then make a final choice. But I'm glad that he did right. So that you mean the will is still valid? Oh, as real and as valid as your Nigerian citizenship. So all this while I've been trying to blackmail your brother? I allowed that to happen to act as a distraction to prevent you from harming him. So that you've been using me? Well, let's just say that I have been toying with both of you. I'm sorry for that. Listen, Maxwell. Stop feeling threatened. You're my son. I'm your father. I still love you. You will still have a part of the family inheritance. So, no need to worry yourself. Okay? Now, I want you to make peace with your brother. Oh, yes. Come on. Make peace with him. Go ahead. Baron, make peace with him. Go on, Baron. Make peace.
wow, 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 wow. <laughs> <laughs> so well, and, and that's not all. Why? <laughs> 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 Well, that is not all. Come here, Doctor. I'm going to ask you this for the very last time. And in the presence of my family. Doctor Mary, will you marry me? Ah! <laughs> wow! Yes, of that? That? See this coming. Yeah, I see this coming. Yeah, I see this coming. I see this coming. Flow with the tide. 